Aloha and welcome. My name is Taylor Norris and I'm a Reiki master teacher and certified galactic astrology soul reader. And today I'm going to be sharing with you more about Chiron and how you can resolve the common issue of homesickness, feeling like you don't belong, this essential core first wound of Chiron, which is abandonment. I did not plan on coming on and creating this video today, but I just taught a class on Chiron yesterday, and apparently Chiron was not done talking to me or talking through me, because this morning in a Reiki experience, I received another download about Chiron, and I wanted to share it with you in case that it's helpful and valuable and constructive and healing for you. So in my research and preparation for my class on Chiron, I delved into his mythology and learned that really his first wound was abandonment. It was rejection by his mother. It was being an orphan. And he became a great healer, teacher, and mentor following that initial wounding, thanks to being taken in by sun god Apollo and goddess of the hunt Artemis, and many other synchronicities in his story. And then later on, after becoming an accomplished healer, teacher, mentor, attracting many different heroes and Greek gods, and different figures within Greek mythology to come and learn from him. He then received his second wound, which is the more famous wound, the wound of the arrow into his thigh or into his foot, depending on which version of the mythology, which version of the story you hear. This was his second wound, but he was already wounded <laughs> with the original wound. And he had already become a great healer before the second wound in the thigh or in the foot. And so during my Reiki experience this morning, before it, I pulled this card, Homesickness, which comes from the Galactic Heritage card deck by Lisa Royal Holt, wonderful card deck. And it's talking about this feeling of our separation from the source and like, where did the ET forefathers go? Where did our family, like our our God and goddess, mother and father figures, where did they go? Where did these enlightened beings that were our our family, where did the, we've been left, we've been abandoned, like, who are we? We don't belong, these kinds of stories. I don't belong on the earth. I wish I could be on a different planet, something like this. Feeling abandoned, feeling rejected, feeling placeless and homeless to a certain extent with this nagging feeling of homesickness that's like, I don't even know where this is coming from because, you know, the original home in the earth lifetime is no longer really appealing or it doesn't feel fill that void either. So what I was shown or what I was told and wrote down during this Reiki experience is that our galactic and star alignments to natal Chiron, so where Chiron was when you were born, your birth time, your birth location, this can show us where we belong. Where is home? Where is our family? And also the Heliacal stars and the Parians can show us this, especially if we have a galactic star alignment to Chiron and it's repeated either as our Heliacal star or in one of our Parians. And I'm going to show you more technically what I mean by this and how to find it. So to find your galactic alignments to Chiron, you go to this wonderful website, galacticastrochart.com. You can create a free galactic astrology chart for yourself. You enter your details. I'm going to do that. Then you generate your birth data. It fills it out. You can say what type of chart it is. And you just press the button, add new chart. 
then you get a chart and this is where you can play with the settings what you want to see i'm going to make it a little simple in between the simplest and the most complicated so i'm going to uncheck show try and sextile square i've got the degrees checked and i'm going to select print extended landscape this is what i use most often and here you can see the conjunct and opposite placements to each of the planets and the points and so what I'm looking at is Chiron. Is there a star alignment to Chiron? And in my case, there is, and it's Sirius A. So this is a wonderful piece of information to know about yourself. You can find it out just how I showed you, or if you get a reading with someone like myself or another certified practitioner or someone who can help you find this information for yourself, you can see if your Chiron has any conjunctions or oppositions, I would say those would be the strongest, but also be open to the, the trines and the sextiles and the squares if those feel a resonance and feel like home to you. For me, this very much series A of all the stars feels so much like home to me. It's just the, the lightest, brightest, most beautiful energy. And I, I feel myself completely merging with this star. And it's absolutely lovely. Now, you can validate whatever star alignment is here by checking your galactic alignments another way by using the ancient Egyptian way of the Parans. And I'm going to show you how you can do that for free. So you just go here to astro.com, you select extended chart selection, you enter your own information here by adding new information, and you click here, this tab special. Under chart type, you scroll down and you select either Parans according to Bernadette Brady PDF or with Uranus through Pluto. So this is going to show you Parans through Saturn. This will show you Uranus through Pluto as well. We'll just keep it simple and check through Saturn. You click show the chart. And it pulls up a sheet and you're like, well, well that's nothing new. Scroll down. And here it is. You see your helical stars and parans according to Bernadette Brady. And the information I received about that Chiron connection, right? My Chiron galactic alignment is to Sirius A star. And you see this is my helical rising star. So I have Sirius somewhere in this other chart of galactic alignments, which supports that feeling like so much of that home vibration, that belongingness vibration. And if I were to have extended this selection to include Uranus through Pluto, I actually have Sirius coming through some of the outer planets as well. So you might check if your galactic alignments to Chiron match either your helical rising star, your setting star, stars at the horizon or meridian, any of your stars by Paran. This would be a great clue that this star or star system can really bring in that sense of belongingness and healing and home for you. So if you do this exercise and you check this out for yourself, please comment below what you find, what you uncover, what you discover, and see if this is an energy that feels really good to you. And if you get a star and you're like, oh, this is a lower vibe star, supposedly, tap into, rise into the higher frequencies, ask to connect with the enlightened energy of that star, the enlightened energy of the star beings linked to that star or star system, and see if maybe that feels like home and that feels like a healing for you. So I wish you so much love whenever you're seeing this, being drawn and called forward by Chiron, this absolutely beautiful energy for us. Chiron, I believe, very much connecting us 
from the realm of the personal planets and the social planets into the realm of the transpersonal planets into what's beyond the outer reaches of our solar system very much encompassing the entirety the totality of our solar system but also going far beyond that to other stars not just our sun and the other star systems chiron is this wonderful rainbow bridge of light this wonderful rainbow path of light and really guides us along our most healed timeline so i wish you so much love and look forward to your comments and feedback about what you discover and uncover about your alignments Thank you so much for watching. Aloha. Mahalo.